All right, everybody, we're back at PHP IPAM, and today we're looking at Azure SAML integration. So to begin with, we want to log in to your PHP IPAM as administrator. So in my case, it's admin. Uh, we want to go to the administration and then authentication methods. And we want to create a new one. So we hit the create new. The drop down will show up. And we want to select SAML2. And in here, we want to name it something or give it a description. So uh, I'm, I wrote Azure Connect. Um, we want to turn off strict and we want to turn off sign authentication requests. Now, depending on your security and everything, you may want to reflect on what these mean, but for today, we're just looking to get simple SAML authentication up. I'll probably do another video that we go more in depth with this. Um, now, we because we will be coming back to this. So we want to grab this client ID and paste it into Notepad. And then we want to copy that and add after the slash SAML2. And I'll show you later what that's for. Next, we want to click the Add button, and that will save this. Now, we need to create a user to match our user in AD. And what I did is I created a character called George, and it's George Smalley one So just fill out the username and the email. And these must, your username should match exactly what it is in Azure. So that's why it's like this long form format. I set the role as admin. And then here under the authentication method, um, I selected the SAML2 Azure Connect, which is what we just created. And we'll hit the add button and that will create the user in PHP IPAM. And you can see here that George Smalley is in there. It's kind of highlighted. I hope, and that he's never logged in. Next, we will log out of, and as you can see now, if you didn't see it before, there's a now you can log in with SAML2 over here. Um, next, we will go to the Azure portal. Uh, that's portal.azure.com. In here, we'll go to Active Directory and then Enterprise Applications. Next, we'll create, click and create new application up towards the top there. After that, we'll create my or your own application. Um, after doing that, you'll put in the app name and then make sure that this radio button down here is selected. And then down at the bottom, hit the Create button and after a few moments, you'll see, you'll be dropped into your new enterprise application. It's called PHP IPAM, hopefully, or whatever you chose to call it. In my case, it was PHP IPAM. Um, and then we'll go down to the single sign-on selector panel in the left, and we'll select SAML as our method of authentication for single sign-on. And then we have this screen that will show up. And the first part we need to fill out is the basic SAML configuration. Uh, and then we'll need to grab the SAML certificate. So let's go to one and one from our notepad. We want to grab this the, and just paste it in there. And then we want to grab the SAML2 and paste that into there. Next, under the third option, we want to download the base64 and a certificate and we want to open it and save it into notepad that we previously got those links in so we just have one consistent notepad next on part four we need to copy the um, login url azure ad identifier and log out your url i want to point out in uh, PHP IPAM, this is actually on the top. So 
just remember this one and this one. So you want to copy each one and paste it into the uh, notepad that we've created. And it should look something like this. This is my working version here. Hit now. We want to go to in our enterprise app. We want to go in the left pane to the users and groups, and we want to add the user. Uh, I believe it was G Smalley one, and we want to add him in here. Now we want to log back into PHP IPAM as admin. Next, we want to go to authenticate administration, then authentication, and reopen our Azure Connect. As you can see, we need to fill out the items from our notepad. And we want to make sure from notepad that we, for this Azure AD identifier, that we put that in the issuer, the login URL to here, and then the logout URL to this bottom one. Next, we want to grab our entire certificate, so that's from this side to this side, and paste it into the IDP X509 public cert. And the whole thing will fit in there, trust me. After we've done all that, it should look very similar to this. If you notice, I've turned debugging on. Um, and if we open an incognito window and we should be able to see that the and we go here to the login you should see the following screens if mfa is working sign in then enter your password and then select one of your methodologies here now this mfa needs to already be set up for the user to work so if you haven't done that then it's not going to work Finally, if you were successful, you should see, because we made them an admin, you should be in like that. And everything looks fine. Finally, if we go back to the admin login, not the incognito, and you'll see this, and you'll see that this is now logged in. And then finally, your other option to validate the logs in Azure and the PHP IPAM Enterprise Application, you can go to the sign-in logs to see what's happening there. Well, that's it. I hope this has been useful. Um, please, you know, go to my page, do some under the YouTube, and, you know, add some comments. Great job. Not like it. Also, if you can, join my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.